Hey everyone, Chad from Caltech here again, and we are going to talk about gas adjustments for your RFB and your RDB. First things first, safety. There's no live ammunition anywhere in our workspace. Both magazines are also empty and clear of any ammunition. So just make sure you uh, clear your workspace before you decide to work on your gun. Now, we are gonna simulate that um, you have your gun out at the range either your RFB or your RDB in either variant. And uh, you are going to be live firing to test your gas system out. Uh, this procedure is gonna help you save time and ammunition. And it's also gonna be much less of a headache for you to get your gas set up properly for the ammunition that you're using. So I'm just gonna go step by step and I'll point out the features of the gas system as we go. So pictured here is the RFB and this is the gas regulator in the manual. It's called the gas adjust. I call it a gas regulator. You can call it a gas vent. And what this does is it vents off the gas out of the piston. So essentially how an RFB and the RDB work is there's a hole in the top of your barrel. The gas head rides over that hole. So when you fire, it creates pressure and gases and that gas comes up and it, and it flies through the barrel and up into the gas piston area in the gas head. And what it does is it throws the piston back, which then in turn throws your action back, which cycles your gun. That's how the gas systems work on both RFB and RDB rifles. So it is adjustable and that's what this vent is for. So if you turn the vent clockwise, you're going to shut off the vent, which pushes more gas to the action of the rifle in both RDB and RFB. And if you turn the gas adjustment counterclockwise, what that does is it vents off gas, which sends less gas to your carrier, which then in turn gives you a softer felt recoil. And this gas system adjustment uh, allows for tailoring the particular ammo that you're using at the time. So if you got hotter loads and you need to vent off more gas, you would simply turn it counterclockwise. I always recommend going in increments of two clicks. There is a detent in here. And so as you turn this, as you'll see, it does actually click and it's uh, a textile click as well. So you can actually feel it. So what I like to do is go ahead and close off the gas vent entirely. Uh, this is the regulator here on the RFB. And so I want to close the gas off so it's bottoming out. Uh, which means I want to go righty tighty lefty loosey, or in this case, it's clockwise to the right. I'm closing it all the way off. And with this rifle here, I already know the gas is uh, set for my ammo. But what I'll do is uh, just for all intents and purposes, we'll open the gas 12 clicks. That's two, four, six, eight, 10 and 12. Now, now that I've opened it up 12 clicks, I'm gonna put a live round, just a single live round in the magazine. I'll put it in the gun. I'll charge it and then fire. Once I fire, if the bolt locks to the rear on an empty magazine, then I know that I have enough gas going to the carrier to cycle the gun. Now, if I wanna make it a softer recoil impulse, what I can do is again, in increments of two, open the gas more, so counterclockwise, one, two, put another single round in, charge the gun and fire and repeat. If the charging handle does not lock back to the rear and the bolt doesn't lock back to the rear, then I know that I don't have enough gas going to the carrier to cycle the gun properly. So what I'll wanna do is come back two more clicks to where I had it, to where it did lock it back. And then what I wanna do is go two more clicks to ensure that I've got enough gas going to the carrier and the bolt system uh, to make the gun ultimately reliable from round to round because not every round is gonna have the exact same pressure as the round before or the round after it. And if you change ammunition types, some have higher pressures than others. So this is what allows you to make your RFB and your RDB reliable. On the RDB, the gas adjustment is in the same exact place as the RFB. It functions exactly the same way. So what I do is bottom it out here, open it up 12 clicks, put a single round in, fire, and uh, make sure that the gun is going to cycle that particular ammunition reliably. Now, if you, uh, on your first round, you've got it open to 12 clicks, and the bolt does not lock to the rear, then you'll simply just reverse uh, the application and turn this clockwise to send more gas to the carrier and again by increments of two. So if I open it up to 12 
and it didn't lock back, I would close it down clockwise to 10 and then try it again and fire. And if it locks back to the rear, I'll close it down two more just to ensure reliability for both the RFB and the RDB models. As well as tailoring your recoil for the ammunition that you're using, this simple gas adjust system is excellent for suppressor use. As you can see, I do run a suppressor on this. They are excellent suppressor hosts, as well as the RDB model. That adjustable gas system will allow you to tailor those pressures uh, so that the gun cycles reliably and softly. I should also mention that we do offer a suppressor piston for the RFB. You might not need a suppressor piston, it just depends on the suppressor that you end up putting on there. If you find that you're having a hard time adjusting your gas system and maybe you've got the cap all the way off so it's venting off all the gas and it's still recoiling really hard, uh, go ahead and pick up that suppressor piston at keltechweapons.com and that'll take care of that problem for you. And that is a simple way to set your gas system on these two rifles. For more tips and tricks and lots of accessories and fun stuff, please visit keltechweapons.com.